Bula Bula coming to you early on this wonderful wilderness wise Wednesday afternoon here in the Ozark Wonderland. And I know it is a tasteful, tantalizing Thursday afternoon in Fiji Wonderland. So Bula, just wanted to come on here a little bit earlier today um, because I have a lot going on, have a special guest on here today, and just wanted to share some thoughts with you. Uh, before I get on my journey. Uh, but here's a fitting song that um, is fitting for the upcoming and ever history changing events for the Pure Integrity Verified Seal headed to Africa. So here's much, 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 much love to all of my African newfound friends and partners in the Pure Integrity Verified Seal. Yay! All right, so invite your friends, invite your family. Let's get all of our invites on. Yay! This is an oldie but goodie, hey? But it was fitting. I stopped an old man along the way, hoping to find some more forgotten words for reaching melodies. He turned to me as if to say, Pretty boy, it's waiting after you. I don't even know who I'm talking to over here. I'm serenading my lovely spiritual friend here. <laughs> Only but goody brings back fond memories. I haven't heard this in years. Hope you all can hear that. I know a lot of people are, you all are at work. I realize this, but that's okay. <laughs> she gets a kick out of me. <laughs> I like to give her a kick from me every once in a while. <laughs> I've got a lot of them. <laughs> She's had a lot of them. Oh boy, has she had a lot. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh geez, if we could only share some of the endeavors that we have been on. Yeah. On screen TV here. <laughs> Something you want repeat. <laughs> right. Oh, I see somebody showing us some love. Awesome. Don't you just love this song? Bless the rains down in Africa. Because here we come. Yes, we are. Oh, Hussein, so good to see you. Oh, hello, my friend. Long time no see. Where are you these days? I'm headed to Africa soon. Where are you going to be, Hussein? You're a world traveler as well. 
Oh, I feel the love. Oh, I feel the cyber hugs of love. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are so awesome. Thank you, thank you. All right, who else did I? Oh, I love you, Hussein. Feeling the love because I know that there are a lot of people at work. So thank you for that awesome love, Hussein. Mwah, 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 mwah. Love you, love you, love you. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to, what time is it? Anybody know what time it is? The time is now. Now, and I've got my special, amazing healer friend. Hi. Oh, so <laughs> my soul sister, Cindy. Well, she is also known as Spirit Dancer, and she yep. is a healer, and we're going to have some question and answer series with Sandy today. So everybody, get your uh, pencils and pads out ready. Marekek, next month. Oh, how, where is that exactly, Hussein? Is it near Africa? <laughs> or is it Spain? <laughs> or where is it? Is it in, uh, is it in, is it near Thailand or the Philippines? Or is it near Africa? Or is it in the country Maurice, Mauritius? I'll be headed to Mauritius very soon as well. And then, of course, I have to go to my home sweet Savu Savu home in the end of February. Yay! Okay, so what time is it? Now time. It's now. And you know what that means? Happy that means time. to get your head. Yeah. Oh, Morocco. Oh, haven't you already been there, Hussein? Isn't it time to come to Fiji? Isn't it time to go, like, get spore and us, like, hook up with your significant other? I mean, isn't it, like, like about that time? I think you've been to Morocco, like, three times, hey? <laughs> I think we. It, it is time for you to head to the South Pacific. Yes. But right I now, agree. it is happy time because we're zippy, 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 zappy, zappy, zappy. H-A-P-P-Y. We're Yay! happy. We're happy. You're happy. We're all happy. Zippy, zippy, zippy. Zappy, zappy, zappy. H-A-P-P-Y. We're happy. Yes. And here we go again. Oh, not yet. You haven't been to Morocco? Okay, my bad. I just, I follow you and you just like travel all over the place. I guess like I do. So yes, okay. Natasha. So good to see you, Natasha. And the third time we're zippy, zippy, zippy. Zappy, zappy, zappy. H A P P Y. We're happy. Woohoo! We're happy. You're happy. We're all happy, happy. because every little cell in our body's happy. Every little cell in our body's well. Every little cell in her body's healthy. 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 Every little cell in her body's well. <laughs> she feels so good. I feel so well. Because every little cell in our body's well. Yay! Yeah. Because happy cells make, make happy people. people and healthy, harmonious cells. All right, before we ask Sandy a couple of questions and get her answers, I just, we've been out here camping for the past uh, few days. We love to go camping because her amazing husband, Tomster, he can just fix everything up so um, immaculate. So we're out here staying very warm. Look, we've got this heater out here, <laughs> one of those. Uh -huh. But what the best part is, is we have this amazing <clears throat> place set up. Well, they have this amazing place set up that we've been camping. And check out this furnace, everybody. Check that hot and heavy hitter out. And check out that honking okay. piece of wood, homemade at its best right there. So we have been staying as snug and a as a bug and a rug in an outlet out here. And it's been pretty freaking amazing. So we are out here in the middle of the Ozark Wonderlands. And check out that amazing view. How awesome is that? Yeah, it's a little bit cloudy today, but um, that's okay. It is still beautiful, B-E-A-U-tiful, beautiful. So anyway, that's what I have been doing for the past few days. Been out getting my earth on, getting my healing on, and having an amazing time camping with my awesome healer, if I can get situated, <laughs> healer soul sister. Yes. Yeah. So that's what we have been doing with the awesome, um, it's been fun. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. We love camping. <laughs> it's so much fun. And it's, oh, oh, it's been very cold here, but it's very warm in here, right? Like, I don't yeah, need a cold. Mm -hmm. Colt. I don't need a cold. Yeah. Where are that pony? <laughs> Ride the white pony. <laughs> <laughs> Colt, coat, whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know the dictionary vocabulary of a uh, gypsy. I just make it up as I go along because it's that much fun. Yes, 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 right? Right. She, she knows. That, Spirit yes. Dancer knows all too well the yes. stories and the words and the phrases that I make up because yes, they just come out. It's they just, do. And then we got a new word to say from now on. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay. That's kind of interesting. 
hey, where did you come up with that? Gypsy bell. <laughs> and I said, well, oh, here, I keep turning it. Okay, here we go. So anyway, let's get right to the point. But yes, uh, Spirit Dancer and I, we could share some uh, pretty hilarious stories <laughs> yeah. with you. Like you can't make this shit up, man. Mm -hmm. It's in the book of can't make shit up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the book of can't make shit up. <laughs> and it's just, exactly. And it's, uh, yeah. 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 Well, maybe one day we will share those stories with you because it is definitely um, re requires you to have a, um, no, you don't need to go to the bathroom, in other words, <laughs> because um, if you have to go pee, then, uh, well, I'm sorry, it just might go. So well, I, I am going to share one story. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, it's okay. This is not a bad one. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Not a bad one. No, I remember one time that there was some stuff going in our lives. Uh, Tom and I, and uh, it was kind of depressing. And we were both down in the dumps, <laughs> and she comes roaring upstairs, turns on her cheerleader self, <laughs> and does these cheers all over the house. Oh, you couldn't help it. She yeah, had us right. laughing. That's then. right. Got rid of the depression, yeah. guaranteed. They were definitely not depressed anymore, and they yeah, were just yeah. kind of in a little, yeah. a little gully. We were crying. Yeah, well, we were laughing so hard we were crying. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. they didn't pee their pants. They peed through their eyes. So yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> tears of joy, tears of joy, pee of joy, pee of joy. No. I mean, who, who, everybody needs a friend like this. Let me tell you, you just, you got to have somebody like this that likes to cheer you up and makes you happy. You know, um, yeah, that, that's what I'm thing. here for. That's, that's, that's just what I like to do. I like to cheer people up. Of Story course, of her life. Story of my life. Yep. <laughs> getting somebody cheered up. That's for dang sure. I mean, sometimes yeah. I do need cheered up. You know, it's really refreshing because lately I've been getting all of these messages online mm -hmm. um, and on public forums that's saying how much I have inspired them, mm -hmm. how much I've cheered them up. And, you know, um, not that that means a whole lot, but it's just, it's very refreshing. And so when yeah. we seek out to help other people, it just makes yourself feel really, really, yeah. really good. It's always fun to compliment somebody because, right. it's, you know, it makes you feel better. It mm -hmm. does. You feel a ton better. Yeah. Okay. So let's just move and slide right into the program today. <laughs> so what to think, um, all right, this is all about the art of health restoration to heal your body, mind, and heart, soul. and soul. Yes. To sculpt your body, mind, heart, and soul. And that's what this is all about. And some of you have been so amazing. Well, you're all so amazing. Uh, some of you have ventured over to join us in our blue light and love ceremonies. Mm -hmm. And they have been absolutely wonderful. Yes. Uh, we know we've skipped a few, but uh, Sandy and I, we still do ours because if we can't get on on Sunday, we're, we're always, we do ours, you know, each week and do mm -hmm. different things. So um, sometimes we have slacked, we have skipped a week. And, and it just goes to show you that whenever we do skip, um, our steadfast in prayer meditation things might be a little bit bumpier. Yeah, they yeah. tend to just, be. They, they tend to be a little bit bumpier. Yes, we'll yeah. just put it to you that way. Tend to be a little bit bumpier. Yeah. So, anyway, um, there have been a few questions brought to my attention, spirit dancers. So, you know, we all of those that have joined in on our blue light and love ceremonies on the phone calls, we've had testimonies, we've had great insights, we've had just pick me ups, I've had amazing testimonies. We've had testimonies from my daughter, testimonies from my son, testimonies with Jonathan, testimonies with you. To, I mean, we just had testimonies with Brenda, with uh, lots of people. Yes. And so we know, and it's not hocus pocus, it's not magic spells. No. Not even close. No, not even close. So it's all in alignment with the great creator, mm -hmm. spirit, mm -hmm. God. God of love and light. God of love and light. So yes. that's what it's all about. So we're not making anyone do anything. We're not casting <clears throat> spells. Oh, no. Right. Not even close. So whenever we have these testimonies, spirit dancer, whenever we, um, and, and we're experiencing all this positive and all of this amazing stuff coming back to us. Okay, that's great. And that's awesome. <clears throat> and there's some people that they you know, things don't come right away. They may take a year mm -hmm. or they may take six months or whatever the time frame may be. Mm -hmm. And then we see those testimonies happening too, right? Right. But, okay, and sometimes some people, you know, please um, refrain from giving up because that is what the dark side wants you to do is to give up. Right. And when we give up, then um, that's when we do not win. <laughs> Definitely, they right. overcome us. Um, so whenever you think things aren't, going right as you had wished you remember we always have to make sure it's in alignment with god humanity spirit and the planet right right for our highest and best now um so okay so we know that that the good things are going to come to light and the the dark side is the the universe is going to take care of them as they see fit correct correct okay so i've had the question asked to me okay or and i've actually been made fun of too so somebody brought it to my attention well 
I guess your little blue light and love ceremonies don't work anymore. Or how did that blue light and love ceremony work for you? Or, okay, so I did this gypsy and um, then it had a 360 degree turnaround. So I thought that blue light and love was a set etched in stone kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So how does it work? So like, what is the significance <clears throat> of it and what can people expect? Okay, <clears throat> let's start with every single situation is different. Okay. Right. Um, you don't necessarily know the person's heart that you're working on, right? You don't know where they're at in their spiritual walk, even though they can pretend there's people that can pretend really well, right? There's some great, do a pretenders. great job of pretending. I think there's a song about that. Yeah. Great pretender. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. We'll so, find it. so you have to start <clears throat> kind of taking this consideration that there's a lot of different aspects to blue lighting, loving someone or some things specific like, uh, like the other night, we decided to blue light and love the whole planet to bring love and to bring right. awareness to all the darkness that's here to expose it to the light. So how long is that going to take? Well, it, it probably started immediately, but it won't hit every single person at the same time. Right. Of course. It's where all our all of mm -hmm. our consciousness comes yeah. together. Now, that was a big one. <clears throat> Normally, we don't mm -hmm. go that big. Right. But at times you need to do that right and so and we've done blue light and love over principalities and powers and rulers of darkness over cities and we've seen changes mm -hmm. literally seen changes the atmosphere changes right and and you see people being nicer and things like that mm -hmm. uh, we blue light and loved certain people for certain things and you know we try not to be too specific when we blue light and love somebody because spirit knows right what right. needs that that person <clears throat> needs in their life or what direction they need to be kind of pushed. Um, not everybody wants to change. Right. Um, some people uh, that are really dark, we have found that they get removed off this planet after a period of time. We have we've witnessed we've that. Actually we've actually witnessed. I, I've, I've witnessed that. Scared the EBGs out of me. <laughs> it happens. Shit falls, Batman. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Spirit, I believe. I believe. I believe. Yeah. I believe. I believe. No, seriously, it was like, um, uh, wow. Mm -hmm. I saw it happen with my own eyes twice. Mm -hmm. I actually three times, if you want to count, um, my uh children's biological dad. I mean, oh right. my God. Mm -hmm. And and we don't ever 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 wish anything no. on anybody. Like Not I did even, it. No. I couldn't do this blue light and love on him because I was so. I, it wasn't really revenge, but I. I knew that I wasn't in a good place and I was just like, you know, why won't yeah. anything happen to him? But even with attitude, I couldn't have that attitude. Right. I mean, we can ask why, I guess sometimes, but we really shouldn't ask why. But then whenever we, we did it on him a year and a half mm -hmm. and then boom, boom, <laughs> bam, bam. Thank you, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. I, I didn't see that one coming really. I mean, whether he staged his death or he's really dead. Um, He's not here. Anymore. He's not here. He's the not universe did anymore. what they saw fit. And right. the haunt is not here in my lives or the kids yes. lives anymore. Yes. So that was the third one. I was like, well, that was a direct yeah. relation to me. Oh my God. That's like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Counting hers three. I've seen mm -hmm. 12. Yes. They're no longer here. Yes. And there may be more I don't know about. Right. So, but, but what I, we do is we put it out there and <clears> we, once you put it out there, you walk away from it. You don't have to yeah, think about it anymore. It. Think about you don't it. have right. to do anything. Um, it just starts, it, it, it starts everything in gear. And when that gear starts rolling, there's no stopping it. And right. you never know what the results are going to be. There's been times I've thought to myself, yeah, that person, mm -hmm. the spirit's probably going to take that one out of here. Mm -hmm. Done. You know, mm -hmm. and then they repent. I mean, I don't right. use the word repent, but they change their ways. Which means that's what repent means, yeah, changing yeah, their ways. They way. change their mm -hmm. ways and <laughs> they decide to walk in the light and totally changes them. Right. Absolutely. Cha I mean, we're talking right. miraculous changes and I'm sitting here going. Right. I mean, I was in shock because I was in kind of expecting the other to happen. Mm -hmm. And it didn't. They changed completely right. and started walking in the light. And I'm going, okay, I'm not going to make judgments anymore. I'm not even going to make what I want An to happen anymore. Anything, right. I just get it out there. I let the spirit decide. And whatever happens, I go, okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. That's <laughs> Whichever good. That's way great. it is, that's awesome. it's good. And good. You got yeah, it. so that's what I've done. But as far as saying nothing's happened, sometimes it takes two years i've had seen it take mm -hmm. two years okay now that's worst case scenario right. so far right but i've also seen it happen within a few days right sometimes almost instantly and other times two months six months mm -hmm. four months i mean right that we can't predict that either right exactly and i've seen you know, things and besides the in 
indefinite or whatever you want to call it, the death that I've witnessed mm -hmm. um, or the deceased or the pa passing over, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. I've also witnessed like you have, mm -hmm. which, you know, I was like kind of nervous, like, oh, she's going to do blue light and love on her. Uh, uh -huh. I guess I better be prepared for what happens. But what happened was the person turned Mm -hmm. for the better and she was like amazing and still is and mm -hmm. still treading that mm -hmm. awesome journey to the ladder of the bright and light it's been what 11 months or so as uh, we yeah, did it yeah and since we did it yeah yes. we actually did it before, before that before that I had happened forgotten right, about. right right and then she started changing mm -hmm. and i'm going okay and, and she wasn't expecting that either no and she said you know what I really want you to blue light and love me. And, and she asked me if I had done it. And I, I said, no, because mm -hmm. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Cause when I put it out there, I let go of it. <laughs> right. So I forgot I'd done it. And I got right. to thinking about it afterwards. I said, oh, I lied to her. I didn't really mean to, because I really had blue light and love her. And that's right. the reason because why really she had gotten it. to that right. place in her life. But so I did it again. Because she asked you to, right? And, and yes, she asked mm -hmm. me to, I did it again. And she has absolutely been a light. Yes. She's it, beautiful it, it's now. It's just awesome. And, and we all can't wait for you all to see her. Yeah, she's just totally amazing. amazing. And yeah. so, uh, if anybody need, was going to have problems, if anybody was going to have problems and not come to the light, they had every opportunity, every demon, every darkness pulling yeah. her back. And she was the one, if anyone, would be weak to walk back to the darkness. And she hasn't. But she chose. And the yet light. we've seen other people. Right. That we've done this too, and it changed them, and then they turned around and made a decision to go back to, to go the darkness. Back. Right. And we're like, going, so that, so that's what I want to ask you, spirit dancers. So why? those that we you know? have, then the blue light and love, which people have asked me, well, mm -hmm. well, did that really work for you? Mm -hmm. Since that happened, mm -hmm. well, well, it worked for us, but I don't even want to say it worked for us. It worked as it was. Well, as they, it they was have a meant choice, to be right? at the time. Yeah. Yes, and that's what I was going to okay. say. Every single person on this planet no matter who they are, mm -hmm. even if they go towards the light, they can still choose to go back the other way. It's still a choice. Right. And that's the part people understand is that the temptations there, right. the demons or whatever you want to call right. them to draw you back. And if you succumb to it, you're going to go back to it. Right. And, and, and yet did they change when they had the first experience? Yes. Yes. I mean, very profound change. But does that mean that they're going to stay and walk in that for the rest of their life? They don't have to. Right, they don't. They can choose to do right. that. But everyone they has don't a choice, have to. Yeah. Right? But it's like, it's, it's kind of like really a dark <clears throat> entity because if mm -hmm. you've walked on the lightness, like if you're walking on the organic world mm -hmm. um, and you come from the toxic world, like those of us that are in the clean eating world um, and the eye awakened world, it would be suicide to go back to the other world right oh yeah absolutely so uh -huh. whenever people when you see people do that they come on one side but then they go back to the other what is that saying what does that actually well represent? it just says that that inside of them they weren't really ready to stay in the light they chose to go back and um do i understand i don't understand that myself right because I've never walked that way. Right. Though I did step over into the darkness for about a year in my life. Because I told I told God, I don't want anything to do with you. I'm, I'm done. I, right. I, everything I see, everybody I see, they're all hypocrites. They're right. all phony. Because you have baloney. the phony fake So you know what? Until you can prove to me you're real, I'm done with you. Right. And I walked, and it was the most, it had the most dead feeling in the world. Mm -hmm. You felt like there was no life at all. Right. Even though I was walking around and there was life around me and everything, I felt completely right. lost. And I can't explain it. It was a weird feeling. But then when God showed me that there is a truly a spiritual life mm -hmm. out there of good and evil, mm -hmm. I was shown both. Right. And through a seance, okay. crazy things like that. Oh, wow. But I was shown and I saw the darkness in the sh and and seance. How they can and, overshadow. And, and inside of me said, Go to the light now. <laughs> the get light, there right. Quick. Get to the light. Grab so it, I it. did, and mm -hmm. I went to the light, and I've stayed there ever since. Okay. Right. But um, I, I guess I needed to see that. Right. I needed to know that there is real darkness and real mm -hmm. light out there, and you have a choice. Exactly. We have a choice. Yeah. It's like I was talking about the other day, the yin and the yang, and about the balancing act and how we 
the good must exist in this world. Our creator created both good and evil. Uh, whether you want to believe that or not, it all exists under mm -hmm. the um, powers that be, the good powers that be. So because of the yin and the yang, so that we're not robots. Um, so we do have choices. And like Sandy, I didn't really go that far because I've never had... Um, just because of the dad that I grew up with. I mean, you know, the dad and the grandmother that I grew up with, the most awesome people on the planet. I mean, there's a lot of awesome people on the planet, but they just kept me, kept my happy going on. So I couldn't, even when I wanted to cry, dang it, <laughs> I couldn't cry. I couldn't cry. I was like, I just want to be depressed. But I was like, I'm happy. I can't be depressed. Right. And I have found myself in a depression mode a little bit. You saw that um, whenever certain things happen. And I found myself crying, but I tend to pull myself out of it pretty quickly with the help of my healers. Mm -hmm. um, but so there are these dark entities that are continually pulling us mm -hmm. to get to the dark side, right? Right. And the only way to keep them out of your life is to keep your frequency in the love range, in right. the gratitude range, and, 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 and be aware that they can drag you down to depression or anger right. or hate or uh, unforgiveness or something mm -hmm. like that. Then what happens is they can jump, they can jump on you, jump in you, and start controlling you. And right. Who needs that? I don't need that. I you know, no, 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 no. It's uh, not fun at all because you say things like, "Where did that come from? How did that happen?" But the blue light and love mm -hmm. will actually, if you surround that person with that blue light and love, right. that dark energy that's attached themselves to it, it uh -huh. they will leave. Okay. If you do it correctly, right, they will leave, and you will see a difference. I'll give you an example. Okay, I had this lady that I knew. She was a friend of my, uh, a really good friend of mine, mm -hmm. and so she, we all ran in the same circles. Mm -hmm. Well, one day she just decided out of the blue that she couldn't stand me, and she didn't want anything to do with me anymore. She started gossiping and saying mean things about me, oh, and my yeah. friend goes what's wrong with you? And she goes, I don't like her anymore. <laughs> and we were like, okay, fine. So this like went me. on for like a year. Right. In the meantime, I had had this vision about the blue light and love mm -hmm. and what to do, how to, how to work with the people. Right. It was brought to me in a, in a dream, uh, kind of a visual dream. But anyway, um, so one day we were, and I had talked to my friend about it. Mm -hmm. That's all I said is I talked to her. Mm -hmm. And one day we were on our way to a powwow because we like to right. do powwows. And so we right. were on our way to a powwow. It was a four awesome. hour drive. And she goes, why don't we do that blue light love thing that you just, why don't we do it on some people? I'll make a list. And so mm -hmm. I said, okay, fine. So she starts making a list. Well, I'm going to add this lady to the list. And I'm going, it ain't going to help her. <laughs> That's not it's happening. not going to help her. Let me, I'm telling you, it's not going to help. No, let's put her on the list. Of you. So she was the last one on the list. We went through the whole list. The first guy on the list is well, our first one to leave this planet two months later. And then the uh -huh. last one on the list and everybody in between got delivered and everything was wonderful in uh -huh. their life. But the last lady on the list who couldn't stand me and didn't want anything oh, to do right. with me shows up at a meeting I'm at three weeks later. And she didn't leave because normally if I was in the room, she would leave. Right. Yeah, so she didn't leave. And I thought that was odd in itself. I take my stuff out of the car. I'm putting everything in the car. She walks around the other car. So she, cause she walked up facing me and she says to me, can I talk to you a minute? And I said, sure, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. For what? You got something and behind thinking, your back okay, there. <laughs> she's going to just lower the boom on me. I'm, you know, she's going to say something really mean and I'm going to really wish I had said no. <laughs> but anyway, she starts talking to me and she says, Sandy, she said, you are the most amazing person. You're always helping people. You're always showing love to people and you're, and you're just a neat person. And I just wanted to tell you, that I really appreciate you. And I said, wow, thank wow. you. And uh, I, I, I don't yes. know what to say. And she goes, can I give you a hug? And I'm going, yeah, I guess so. That's good. Works. This is good. And she okay. reaches over and she gives me this bear <laughs> hug. And she's like about eight inches shorter than me. She's a real tiny little thing. And she, she hugs me. And then when she got done, she looks at me and she says, I love you so much. And when I looked at her face, it was shining light mm. out of it. It was glowing. And I went, nice. Really? Very nice. <laughs> really? It was beautiful. And from then on, I mean, she decided she liked me and we were good friends again after that. And, you know, I, I, if I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. Right. If somebody told me that story. I would not have believed right. it. And here I was a recipient of someone who I had just put blue light and love around who came back and just poured love back into my life. Awesome. Beautiful. It Yay. was a beautiful story. And I mean, that one was profound, but mm -hmm. 
I've seen other ones like that. Too. Right. Yeah. Awesome. I like that. So and it doesn't always happen instantly. Right. That one just happened to be in three weeks. Right. Exactly. But it doesn't always happen <laughs> no that way. But sometimes that, yeah. they do. Um, Takes longer. Mm -hmm. You know. But as far as them not working and mm -hmm. their fairy tale, I mean, it's it, it's all about the energy to the universe. You know, right. I've actually been experimenting on some things. <laughs> I've been experimenting on some things just to see how much energy. Like I've been really just obviously with myself a lot lately and I've been really just like kind of like you did, but I didn't go over to the dark side. I was just like, okay, God, universe, angels, you've got to help me out here. Like is what I'm doing. Is it in vain? Is it real? Is, is all of this making sense? Like, am I supposed to be on this journey? And okay, if I put these certain words out there, if I put this certain energy out there, I wanted to see if it would work. And it did. I can't really, explain it right now um, because there's a few people that um, are kind of involved and so my point in telling you this is that I put the energy out there I put certain words out there and I literally put out there of what I wanted to happen each day mm -hmm. and it did happen Oh, let's see who this is. Um, no, it's not who I need to speak with. Um, I thought it might be my daughter, but it's not. Um, so anyway, my point of saying that is, is that, you know, I just wanted to test the spirits. We're supposed to always test it. Hello, Karen. I'll be seeing you in just a little bit. I'll be headed that way on my way back to Branson. So I love you, Karen. Thanks for joining us. So anyway, my point was I was literally testing the spirits just to see how much energy um, that I have, we all have, and I know it, but I just wanted to see what the energy level was and if it was real and if it was true and if it was a good thing. And it actually was because everything that I desired put out there and said that, thank you for this happening, da -da 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 -da, then those things literally happen. Mm -hmm. as I was putting them out there to the universe kid. Mm -hmm. Hi, picking up kids. Okay, awesome. Well, um, I will stop by and say hi to you. I have to go see my son first, and then I will uh, come by and see you, Karen. Um, so anyway, that's my experience. Yeah, that's okay. a good one. Well, see, she's a manifesting generator. Okay, right. And we'll have another know, I've done her about human that. design, yeah. and she's a manifesting generator. So people like her can do this kind of thing. But I can remember the day when I first met her, nothing worked for her <laughs> nothing but because she has spiritually grown to such a level now that she's starting to actually manifest things that she didn't even know she could do before. right and i told her she could but she didn't believe me at first i know because nothing would work but now it's she's like cleared uh, things uh, out of her life uh, and, well yeah. that where did that come from yeah i know what was that <laughs> and, 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 i mean it was like dead she mm -hmm. she would say something and it would go boom or it would be the reverse. Yeah. It would just be reverse. Yeah. Exactly she would, the happened. reverse would happen to what she mm -hmm. wanted. And yes. so there was some really dark energy on her that probably came from a generational thing. Yes. And well, we, we know it came from that entity that we blew light and love. Yes. From and all those years. Yes. And we blew light and love that thing. And all of a sudden it's like, like her powers turned on, you know, like yeah. we all have powers, but we mm -hmm. don't turn them on because we don't know we should or could. And, um, a lot of times it takes clearing some things out of our lives before that happens. Right. But it can happen for right. just about every person listening to this call for sure. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because you're not here listening to this call unless you are a person who is absolutely has abilities and can use them in mm -hmm. an amazing way. And if you haven't turned them on, then start working on it. Start asking for the spirit world to show you right. spirit you know, great spirit, whatever you call God, mm -hmm. to show you what you need to do to cause things to start uh, manifesting in your life the way you want them to. And I believe in that. I yeah, really absolutely. Believe and a spirit dancer can certainly help you with that. She is a healer. She is a medicine woman. She is a hands-on healer. Uh, I've told a lot of you know the story about my daughter having a car crash, being in the hospital with uh, six concussions, ended up with three really bad concussions. I pulled her out of the hospital. I'm like, uh, Sandy and I will take care of her now. Okay, 
have a nice day. <laughs> Bye. Literally pulled her out of the hospital and brought her over. Uh, well, I had to bring Sandy over to her house and literally we healed those. Con she healed those concussions. I put the frankincense and myrrh oil, you know, different things mm -hmm. that took place. But and Sandy her back was and, and Jordan, and her back was very much hurt. And Jordan remembered Sandy's hot hands and healing hands, even though Jordan, remember I told you that story. She made fun of us and all this kind of, we were cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And uh, yeah, well, she thought uh, we were cuckoo. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And she would make fun of us to our yeah, face. But her so, back you know, quit hurting. But her back quit hurting and yeah. her concussions went away. And yeah. so whenever Jordan came to ask Sandy for healing, because she wanted to ask Sandy, um, and this is whenever we were like, mm -mm, you can't come over here anymore. I, no, mm -mm, you, you've on the dark side too much. Mm -hmm. Hold your soul, little girl. Um, but anyway, we've well, all heard that story before. So Jordan sought out Sandy because she remembered her hot hands while she was in that concussion state. She said of she had a dream or something about talking to me. Yeah. Like the spirit came to her and yeah. said that she needed to talk to you, you to because she knew me. that that's what needed to happen. So anyway, there's just a lot of those stories, but a uh, spirit dancer can definitely help you with your uh, being a manifesting generator or a manifester or whatever it is that your ability is. She can help you find that. She can help you search deep down inside. She can do hands-on healing with you. She can help you find your inner um, inner powers. Is mm -hmm. that what you would call mm -hmm. it? Inner powers. Yes. They're all there. Yeah. Some people have buried them, but yeah, mm -hmm. they're there. Definitely. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, that is our topic for today of what the blue light and love is and does it really work? And is it something to take lightly? Is it something to make fun of? Is it something that, you know, eh? no, it's like, it's, I do real? have one I want to share oh, okay. with you because Good. I remember, uh, I told everybody when we started doing this, not to do blue light and love and anger. Oh, that's it's right. Not a good right, thing. Right, right. And a lady that I know called up the other day mm. and she was wanting to blue light and love somebody, but she was very angry. And I went ahead and did it with her because it, it wasn't on me because I wasn't angry. She was very angry at the person that she wanted to do this to. And she just spouted it out. Next thing I know, I'm having a dream. And she's coming to me telling me that she had died. Okay. And I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, what happened? And then I remembered the anger. You can't do this in anger. It's right. got, you've got to clear yourself of if you, if you can't forgive somebody and you can't stop being angry, let somebody else do it. Don't do it yourself. Because uh, you don't want it coming back on you. And that's what will happen. It right. truly does. And it does. It came back on her. And mm -hmm. she was given, uh, she was given, um, um, you know, an edict. Either straighten up or, uh-uh, you can't do this or anymore. Mm -mm. Out of here. So, so yeah, um, take mm -hmm. these things very, very seriously. Very uh, serious. And what's mm -hmm. going to happen. Obviously, the universe is going to make happen. But if mm -hmm. you desire something, the universe will also help you to right. get your desires. Right. The universe can work miracles. Uh, God can work miracles, mm -hmm. as you know. So God, along with all the universal powers and the spirits, they can definitely help you to change the stars immediately. Right. Um, like I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I've been a um, example or a, a, a recipient. receiver, a recipient, recipient of it. Yes, I've been a recipient <laughs> yeah. of it. And it's just so amazing. Mm -hmm. Just awesome. Just gives you that mm -hmm. peace that passes all understanding. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Okay, so I you love, all, I love her, I love her. Oh, and so stay tuned. You know, one day we'll be on here and we'll tell you some of our um, non fish tale stories. <laughs> the book of shit you can't make up. <laughs> yeah, there's one story we'll never put out here, though. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that was never know. going on here. We've got <laughs> nothing going on here. Nothing to see here. Oh, no, there's nothing literally to see in my purse. <laughs> So we will, um, yes, we will give you all a good belly laugh in another episode. We might get brave yes. enough to um, tell you this story because it, it, it was pretty comical. Story. Maybe we'll change it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let's change Maybe it up. we'll change it up exactly how it happened the way that it did because, um, yeah. Yeah, well, I recommend you do that. Yeah, no, well, but we'll leave out the names of where I was. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And um, <laughs> no, but even the story could get you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Well, that is true. It's no, like we're not going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, now we've got our audience wondering what the heck kind of story is. Yeah. That. <laughs> Yeah, only Lynette could do this one. Only her. <laughs> only only oh. Isabella. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, um, okay. Um, we're going to and have to make this story. she's waking me up in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, I just did to tell you what happened to me. Oh, my God. I'm like, not gonna what? Believe this. <laughs> You're really not going to believe this. Like, this just and really she tells happened. me the story. My eyes get too And she's like, You're right. I don't yeah, believe I'm it. Like, okay. <laughs> I think I just want to go back to bed. <laughs> Okay, see you in the morning. But but I may not be here in the morning. I don't know. I may not survive the night. I don't know. It was funny. Oh, we gotta tell
tell them now they're all going to be wondering. No, we got, well, we'll have to figure this one out. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to figure this one out. We will tell you because now we've got you all wondering about what <laughs> Gypsy got herself into that one fateful night. It was funny. It was funny. Yeah, it was really We funny. can have laughs on it. Yeah. See, we're it laughing was, now. It, it gave us deep laughable. belly laughs, like literal deep belly laughs. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, <laughs> you, we'll tell the story if you go back to Fiji. Yeah. What I'm saying, when, when I get to Fiji, we will She's do a live back, with right? camera with, with Sandy. We'll do a live video. Yeah, yeah. And um, yes, we will tell we'll you tell the, the story. story. I am in Fiji. On. I'm out of here. I'm so out of here. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me if you can. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. It's not as bad as we're making it sound. It really isn't. Oh, well. I mean, we'll let you be the judge. Or yeah. not? No. Don't or be not. a judge. No. Just not. Let's Just be a laugher. Not. Yeah. Let's do the or not. They can be the laughers. You yeah. can be the recipient of the belly laugh. How's that? <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Super duper duper. Okay. Well, we are so excited that you all decided to tune in with us. We know that a lot of you are at work today because it's in the middle of the afternoon, but that's okay. 3233 is what is it? 330 right now. So until we meet again, always remember you are amazing. Mm -hmm. You, you are, are awesome. Are awesome. And you are, are loved. Loved. And you Woo! are beautiful because <laughs> we love you forever and ever. That's all right there. I'll play it for you next week. How do you like that? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Or at the end of this week, whenever I decide to come on. So remember to subscribe at my um, YouTube channel, the art of health restoration or the art of art of restoration fuel for the body. I'll put it in this video below um, because I will be Vic. Hello. My awesome Ramsey's friend. Vic is the amazing um, coordinator who got our Africa, our free trade. He did the Ramsey's event for the free trade conference that I spoke at in October. So wow. we are getting things rounded up and headed over to Africa, Vic. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Um, okay. So anyway, uh, transition over to our YouTube channel, which I will be posting over there uh, mostly from now on uh, by the first of next week. I'll post the videos in this group for you all to see. But like I said, there's a lot of things that are going on that are coming up in life, history in the making. Yay, yay, yay. And so stay tuned for all of our announcements that we are going to be bringing your way. And also yes. hit Sandy up if you want to have some hands-on healing, if you want to have some um, distant healing. And she also does these amazing, uh, uh, well, this one came, she has these and she makes these, but she makes these kyanite. Uh, which is the good thing to uh, keep the dark side yeah. from pounding inside you. No negative energy. No can negative enter energy can kinetics, enter. So right. Exactly. So it repels it. Exactly. It does. Nice um, to have jewelry yeah, like that. Yeah. And then she has, uh, we have a lot of healing jewelry inside <laughs> Breath of Green at mm -hmm. 104 North Commercial Street. So her healing jewelry is made in, made with love, infused with her energy and infused mm -hmm. with love along with uh, very rare stones that are good healing stones anyway. So we have a wide variety of her healing stones, her necklaces, her bracelets and earrings at the Breath of Green Shop. So come on in there and get your healing stones on and um, see when you can make an appointment to meet with Spirit Dancer herself. <laughs> da, 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 da. And until we meet again, Manaka Vakalevu and Moive. Yeah.